Uh, I come one... back. <laughs> Taste that, you little punk. <laughs> we come back, okay. everyone. I deserve that. Uh, hello, anyone who may be watching this on YouTube at some point later. Uh, this is the second half of today's stream. When well, we finished off Tomb Raider, not Tomb Raider. We finished off Indiana Jones in the Emperor's Tomb. It's kind of fittingly that we ended off uh, Legends on a half hour stream on a half stream, and now we're we ended in the in the Emperor's Tomb on a half stream as well. <laughs> okay, now. Let's start up Tomb Raider Underworld, and also let me change the title, actually. Not that it'll help much for this stream, but oh well. I yeah, no, uh, I should probably say this. Welcome everyone, I'm first mate Drakir. One. Okay, let me switch it over. Tomb Raider. And with the iPads is Captain Hillian. And... Wait, I, I thought I had a, a scene already planned for this, but, but yeah. Uh, hello, anyone who, who is joining us late. Uh, yeah, we finished with Indiana Jones in the Emperor's Tomb, and we are moving on to the next in, and last game in our current mainstream uh, block. And that is, let's see, let's, let's walk a melee source. That's the other one. Wait, where is... Wait. Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, let me pause that quick. It was going into a trailer thing. There we go. Start to work now. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this this game doesn't start with anything. It gets wrecked. <laughs> uh, yeah. This game just starts you right on the menu here. No uh, flashy pre-scene or such. But there is a trailer. Not, not sure if it's called uh, really a, if it was a trailer, but there is a cinematic that will start up if we wait here for a bit. So uh, yeah, let's wait for that a bit. Would you, would you be able to just start it? Uh, the game, the controls are a little bit finicky since uh, you can't see it really at the moment because my model is in the way. But for some reason, the mouse gets forced into the lower left, uh, lower right corner. So whenever I try, to, whenever I move around to select things, it tries to move that away from that. Uh, but yeah, that, that, damn it, not what I wanted to click. That that's what would happen. Uh, come on. Uh, yeah. Let, let's return to the main scene. Then we'll run that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's being real stubborn now, as you can see. Oh. And I can't move... Well, I can move the mouse, but as you can see, it immediately gets catapulted back into the corner. Wh Why does it do that? Yeah, I, if I knew that, I would have been able to fix it. But does it affect gameplay, I hope? It's, it, from what I tested, it shouldn't. Like, I can move around normally like this. But the moment it goes into the menu, we get this. Let's see. Maybe if I start up the controller, it'll take over instead. Uh, nope. Hmm. Let me... Yeah, this also kind of... Wait, that... I just realized that would... Okay, we can get it to the save system. If we quick enough. Mm, okay. That might be a problem. Yeah. I, okay, sure, we can play the game, but... It's an issue we have struggles to say. Like, you shouldn't be able to rest on to save. Uh, let, let me force close the game for the moment. And maybe we can just get it to run if I do have it going in full screen. So, uh, 
Let's see, anything different here? Actually, let me just change up this. Some water. Uh, where is it showing? I'll, I'll, let's see, can I just set it up normally without getting forced into it? Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh. oh, wait, it's behaving now? Really? Okay. Uh, pray lessons. Okay. Uh, don't ask me how this happened. <laughs> like, during all of my previous tests, it would refuse to cooperate, but for some reason now it does. Okay. Uh, let's just wait for Drakir to return then. I'm back. I'm back. I just didn't speak, want to interrupt you. Speak of the devil. Hey! Uh, <laughs> okay, then let's start this previously on, and then we can get to the teaser trailer. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. No! Get back! What's happening, Mother? Lord! What is it? Oh, God! No! Mother! Lara Croft, me Jacqueline Natalie. It was you. You were the Queen of Atlantis. Once. I cannot die, you fool. I think the stone unlocks the door. The door might be trapped. We're trapped. Amanda! I think Amanda might not have died down there. You idiot! You ruined everything! Make sense right this second, or I swear I'll execute you where you stand! I told you! Where is my mother? Avalon! She's not dead! Yeah, Lord <laughs> does not fuck around in this timeline, huh? Yeah, and... Uh... I'm kind of glad to see they actually connected first, first one of these trilogy. And but that now... one didn't seem uh, connected to the other. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ba basically, to recap, the chronologically the way that the games came out, it was Legend first, then Anniversary, but Anniversary is a prequel. So chronologically in Worlds, it is Anniversary then Legend, and that is why we streamed the games in that way. And now we get to the finale with Underworld. And let's show off this teaser trailer then, which would have started right. up if we waited at the menu. That music is so good, you get copy reclaimed. What? Oh. 
Okay, so they went with one of her more original design with a swimsuit under the clothes. <laughs> I'll they say might... no more. But uh... she blew up her house. I don't think I think I'm gonna get on to later on. I feel like. Yeah, that, that is why it's a teaser. It is supposed to tease out those questions for which yeah. people will want answers. Also, good news for you. Hmm? This is not copyrighted music, it's public domain. Okay, I still expect it to get a claim because there's just co jackass companies who will claim public domain stuff like that. Yeah, but, this uh, one, yeah. A lot of movies and games use this music, so they cannot do that. I yeah, will see. Not that it does much against or my against my channel, anyways. Since uh, Europe is a bit more lax on the copyright stuff, it's not like you get a claim and immediately your account gets put on lockdown or something, which is yeah. basically the case in America, which is why yeah, people think, have to dance around it a lot. I think you need to give proof of it that even as well here. Yeah, and well, it's a lot easier to uh, prove. Um, what is the term again? It was a hashtag a while ago. Fair use, fair use. It's a lot. Fair use is a lot more loose here as well. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. Enough of that. <laughs> we have about almost 15 minutes of just trying to troubleshoot and showcase. So let's get started on a new game. Yeah. Should we add 15 minutes? Uh. Yeah. Let's add 15 minutes. It's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 13, 14, 15. There we go. About an hour from now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, shall we go with medium or easy this time? I think we went easy last time. I think you went uh, last time on medium and got almost wrecked for it at the final boss. Uh, yeah, let's let's just go with casual explorer for the ease of things, so that we don't get stuck on a a bastard boss again. And again, I think I think we were running on easy. We'll see. We're, we play more for story than challenge, anyways. And this is why we don't let Helium play with the uh, explosives. Okay. We saw this already. Do we need to click it away or is it just still loading? Well, from one fire into another. term for that, but I forget what it was. Backdrafts or something? Yep. Um, okay. Sure, but I feel sad to see this damn house burning. It looks so lovely. Yeah. Just imagine how it feels for a long-term Tomb Raider fan. Yeah. Alora. Wrong way. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had to jump back there. Luckily, the checkpoints here are a lot more forgiving than in Emperor's Tomb. Hell, did you just die on the tutorial level? Yep. You know what? There we go. I, I, I gotta go and grab your twigs and hide them from you this time as a punishment. And I know how much you love your twigs. I prefer Miyake Way anyways. I never had those. I don't think they're even sold here. Okay. 
head. Wait, sweet. she's inside, and this was the. Wait, who was? Wait, what? I'll say that one thing. This is probably my favorite of this trilogy. Distance. Hey, Lara. Find it yet? Patient Zip. I warned you that conveniently undiscovered islands would be scarce in the Mediterranean. Are you sure this Eddington chap knows what he's talking about? If he says Father was convinced the path to Avalon was here, I have no reason to doubt it. Fair enough. But it's. Well, we've been talking. You've been talking, man. Leon, it's just. All right. Maybe Avalon is real, but just because some bad woman tells you your your mother didn't die after all. I mean, look, I, I don't want to seem heartless, but this this idea of your mom living in some some Celtic underworld, it's a it's a little bit mental, isn't it? I have no illusions that my mother is holding court in some mythical paradise, Alistair. I only want the truth, whatever it may be. I'll ring you later. Well, they do have a bit of a point, because Laura does also tend to get obsessive. Now, can we... Come on, Laura. Do the dive. Ah, no dive. <laughs> yeah, damn it. That's probably why people like Laura. She has... A good side and bad sides. Yeah. Like, she's no Mary Sue. Exactly. It's probably... Yeah, probably why I sometimes get angry when some people do claim that they invented the first female superhero. So, like, someone did... Uh, actually, that's one of the things the one that made the new Sierra said. And that pissed me off. The fact that like they ignored Laura Croft, uh, yeah, Croft and what the heck was it? Ripley and many others before yep. them. Leia as well. Yeah, that, like there are tons. So when someone says that, I get pissed, but that's disrespectful. And yeah, I should have not go into the politics. And we have a 3 map this time. What the heck? Yeah. Let's avoid touching the jellyfish. Hello. What is this? Uh, yeah, what the heck is that? That matches that thing. So there must be another one around here somewhere. Yeah, let's see from Glitch Boy. Thankfully, she's no right. I agree. I've not seen those movies. Do I have avoided them? For everyone tells me to avoid them. Now, the first one isn't bad, it's just that the fact that they couldn't keep a writer for all three of them shot themselves in the foot with a freaking rocket launcher. Let's see. Oh, that, that's okay. so pretty to make the one. I think I've done that a few times accidentally in games. Those large ornate discs look like they can be moved. Yeah, we can get hints and then just be told outright what to do. I should try pulling on the handle I put into that disc. We won't need that too much, I think, but it is nice for them to put it in. Oh, yeah. If we do this... Hmm. Oh, I think I see what needs to be done. We need to put all of the eyes in the middle one. But then we need to go find another of this. 
Uh, let's see. I first was well, yeah. What I watched the first one that I you know, didn't watch the others after she touched the lightsaber and suddenly had the experience of power of a Jedi Knight, and the retcons in the later movies. Yeah. Let's see. Sonar map. Let's see. Is it going uh, to highlight uh, things for us? I think most people, even Jedi's, non-Jedi's, can activate the lightsaber. However, you pro you will probably prefer someone who knows how to use a lightsaber to hold it. Sounds yeah. Unlike a sword, they barely have weight, so it means. You may have less control over knowing where the damn blade is. AKA, you may end up slicing yourself. Okay, this is just back outside. Is there another one of those handles around here somewhere? Maybe. I do think I saw some sharks. Yeah, we took a pot shot at one of them. Let's see. If, if there is another handle out here then the map isn't highlighting that. So let's just explore a bit. I can't say I'm ne I, I'm always a fan of just this swimming style for some reason. It's like a dolphin swim or something. Uh, I, I'm new to Twitter. for... I have no idea if it's an actual old style that works or not. Yeah, it could be that it might work, but it's very intensive. And uh, yeah, yeah like boy again. Finn had more probability to use it due to his training as a stormtrooper. Yeah, from what I heard, or it, it was rumored, I believe, to have Finn become uh, a Jedi as well, or at least a Jedi part, uh, a trainee or of sorts. But they cut that off, or cut cut that out for some reason. Yeah, just. They should have planned out that second, the, the next trilogy, and apparently they are working on another trilogy with Rey. So, yeah, I'm what? hoping that's I... basically them redoing the entire thing and just tossing out everything after Force Awakens. But we'll see. But what? He became one at the end of the trilogy all of a sudden. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I feel like we should be careful to talk about the truth really for it. But it, it's, it's one of those things that makes many people annoyed. Yeah, Beanie absolutely hates the last of the movies. Because, yeah, because they didn't plan ahead. They were basically pulling bullshit out of their ass the entirety of the movie. Like, the. It starts with somehow Palpatine is alive again. And there will uh, horses running outside a spaceship. Let's see, Kylo Ren would have been a better protagonist. Yeah, give him a redemption arc and such. But yeah, enough about badly planned Star Wars. Let's look at better plans. Tomb Raider. Yeah, but I'm very curious of what is, it is going on. And also, would she freeze with that? Uh, we're in the Mediterranean, so the water would be warm. Plus, wetsuits are in part meant to keep your body heat trapped in. Yeah, I but think that's she's... one of the reasons why they're primarily black. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you, you, I think you may notice she she doesn't have the whole legs. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's why I say, is it she cold? For in here, I feel like it will be freezing. Hello. Uh, oh. The, oh, the swim stage is called butterfly stroke. Wait, butterfly stroke is with the arms going forwards and then back. It's not. It's 
I know that because I had to try that and I have to say I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think that is a style of swimming that's more of a special style. Drink. Okay. Okay, something needs to be placed here. It seems. Yeah, something started to burn. Oh, Wait. Wait. Ah, I see. I don't think it's the butterfly stroke. No need to whack with that thing, Laura. There's no enemies here yet. Oh, we get whack with them? Okay, that keeps it way down. What is that actually doing? I can hear something moving around. Wait, hold on, look up. I think it... Let's get a better oh. light on that. Rooms? Incredible. The carvings are clearly similar to early Germanic design, but this is far older than the 5th century, yet, strangely enough, more sophisticated. Proto Norse rooms. Let's see. World of Mist. That would be Niflheim, the realm of the dead. Not Avalon exactly, but the Norse equivalent. We go looking for one afterlife and we find a different one. Wait, what? Uh, That's a curious one. Like, I think both are covered in mist, sure, but Avalon was known as the Island of Apples. And what happened to Lara? Uh, she's just standing still, a, a bit awkwardly. Uh, see, there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, Wetsuits keep you warm even with your limbs exposed because your body heat keeps traveling to them while your torso is kept warm by the suits. Okay, yeah. We... Okay. I did not know that. Basically protecting your core body heat and letting that flow out to your extremities. Plus, it's certainly not fan surface because we're looking at Laura's ass for most of this. I would not be surprised. There's something. Classic little noise. No, I mean, say, I'm kind of glad they kept the defense service to a minimum. If you know what I mean. Yeah, they, they have always been a bit classy about that. For the most that I can remember at the very least. I, okay, this. Yeah. Camera can be a bit flippant at moments. Yeah. The only time I seen a fan service was not by Crystal Dynamics. It was trailer you more of a Nike, old Nike commercial. I felt like a bit, a bit disrespectful yeah. towards her. No, I think yeah, I, I, I've actually, yeah, I told you about that one. Hmm. Uh, it, it looked like it was uh, supposed to be a PlayStation commercial. But no, it's a Nike commercial, or some dude keeps running through different games, then suddenly running into lava fighting a very badly anime T-Rex, and in the tumble he actually rolled over top of her and placed his hand on her chest. Okay. While she was shooting, and then he rolled off and into another game, and I just feel like, Nike, really? I'll have to look that one up. but. Yeah, I think that was a bit disrespectful. <laughs> Another Kraken. something else uh, whatever it is we're going to take a crack at it 
and yeah, milky eyes. That thing is a blind as a bat. I hope it's. Um, question of first is say this. I just hope it's a kraken or yeah, an octopus and not Cthulhu. No, we or haven't got. We Star haven't had that in Tomb Raider yet. Yet. Just wait for it. Yes. I would not mind if they do that. Hmm. Uh, oh no. Uh, yes, yeah, we talked about fan service and we've run into a damn octopus. Something, something, uh, enough something to know where this yeah, is let, going. Let's not, let's not do the joke that has been done way too many times already. We can jump to that. Yeah, but really be careful because it could probably crush us like a grape. Cool. Okay, it's blind, but it's not stupid. And not numb either. Let's see, what have we here? Some gears. And a lever. Yeah, it's, it's clogging them up. Okay. Ow. Wait, hold on. It made sound? Yep. Yeah, uh, oh god, it's real, I remember now. Octopuses are probably one of the, uh, the more, those species at least, are probably one of the more smarter sea dwellers. Like, they're actually bloody smart. Yep, like in zoos and such, or aquariums, they keep bloody escaping because they can squeeze through the smallest cracks. And they're actually yeah. smart enough to, me to memorize uh, schedules of uh, their keepers and such. Yeah, and they can autos from the inside. And Good. one this big, like, he or she may be blind, but... Far from dumb. Far from dumb. They might be even smarter than... This one might be smarter than you, me, even. Okay, that's for going down. No. But fighting him is with whole arms. <laughs> we never used horned helmets. Let's see. Plugging this one up as well. Oh, no, it's just not connected. Let's see. Uh, camera. There we go. Okay. Gotta be a bit careful with the platforming here and then, because we already got pretty hurt from a fall earlier and we don't have any medkits. Uh, let's see. Must be something around here we can stick in between to get things moving again. And yeah, we finally have a sprint. something this way then that doesn't look hmm. okay let's get back up Can still go fast by pressing E with this and let's see okay yeah okay simple Simple enough. Okay. What 
squeeze in the big thing again. And now this thing is loose. Because those were keeping it up. Well, it's still being kept up by the chain. But if we have... Uh, it can't move down with these in place. So there, there. And, well, you can guess what Ooh. that one does. Oh dear. Also, if we were to get too close to this thing on the water, it, I'm pretty sure it would eat us instantly. Why does what he have spikes? Yeah, what kind of purpose <laughs> did this thing serve? Like some sort of execution method? Well, I think we found the weakest link. Yeah, I, I get the feeling this is some sort of execution device because this thing, ha this place has fallen apart quite a bit. So it would have been a bit of an overkill way to execute someone. There we go. You can always jump Is in it... the check if they're not. Wait, it's gone. Is it really dead? Oh, damn. Mm, yeah. Sad to have to do that. But, uh, yeah, Laura's not going to stop for anything. Not even ancient uh, octopi. Calamari for dinner, boys. I think it might be a bit too tough for that, with how it's probably a few centuries old, at the very least. Oh, good God. And, yep. We get a bit of parkour by just free climbing. I've never eaten octopus, I think, and I'm not really sure I'd want to even. Uh, okay. I haven't eaten, but I have been curious of one that actually sounds weirdly tasty. Oh. Like there have been. Apparently, there's a. Uh, I forgot if it's Thai or Hong uh, Korean, but they marinate tentacles in something. Uh, some sort of uh, fermented pepper sauce. Okay. And uh, then grill it. And so it becomes a bit uh, crispy and crunchy. And very spicy, of course. It's sort of, so, sort of a squid barbecue. And it was one of the kids that actually looked tasty for me. And normally I don't find squid tasty. I'm, I'm... Oh. Thor, the Norse god of thunder. Whatever are you doing down here in Niflheim? Hello. According to the Eddas, Thor needed special iron gauntlets to wield his mighty hammer, Mjolnir. Could it be? Let me get... I almost forgot about those, I think. But they're really mentioned. Most people focus on his hammer or his belt. Okay, that's locked in place. I'm pretty sure Drakir was thinking, could it be as well there the moment he saw the gauntlet? Yeah, yeah I actually almost forgot the gauntlet uh, was a thing until they, they mentioned it. I would, she said the Edda. If she means the Icelandic Edda or someone... But the Edda that was written in the 1300s, that one has been criticized a lot recently with a uh, heavily amount of potential Christian tampering. Okay. Says again, it was written like two, three hundred years after the Viking Age ended. 
by a Christian? Let's see. Or we've been through this. This is the Germanic God of Thunder. And I think Laura is a bad archaeologist. Uh, definitely in part, yeah. Yeah, and, and again, she has to learn about so many freaking things. Uh, the Germanic God of Thunder is four. Just four. Here's the thing. The Germanic gods are in Scandinavia, Netherlands, and Germany. However, they, many of those gods have different names in different regions. Like, let's see, I think four in Dutch is Donar? Mm, not sure specifically. I think most people just call it Go with Thor as well, but that might be because of Marvel and such. See, yeah, but the, in old times they would, I think they said Donar. And the Dutch for for Odin is Vodan, and the German word for Odin would be Votan. There we go. Simple enough. And yeah, English word. Uh, and oh yeah, Austria as well. I almost forgot them. They were I rarely hear much about ancient Austria to begin with. Like, I think the most I've heard of old Austria is what how their warriors used to kick ass for such a relatively small yeah, country, I think. They, they, they had the benefit of high ground. Literally. So that's where Obi-Wan Kenobi was from. I didn't think so. But, yeah. Oh yeah, they were part of... Uh, it's a yeah. shame that Austria is one of the countries that often gets forgotten about. Until someone mentions them. See? There we go. But yeah, we can wrap the grapple line around things now. And a uh, drink. Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, was powerful enough to level mountains. But how does all this relate to Avalon? Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Slowly. I don't suppose you'd be open to bribery, would you? Nope. <laughs> Let's see, they are mixing Germanic and Celtic stuff. Yeah, there, there are some commonalities between them, but yeah, they are still different. But again, this is supposed to be ruins of, uh, well, age before the Celts and before the Norse. Yeah, basically, you could see it as uh, the Norse mythology basically being fan fiction of this other ancient civilization. And I think the Kyrgyz yeah. are probably angry at me. I had worse. I have heard worse. But yeah, uh, yeah it could be a case of uh, many religions were more, were once one or few, but then split up over the ages uh, as of the disasters. Then, like, for example, when, when uh, Alexandria sank, a lot of knowledge got lost. So we had to rediscover a lot of things. Oh, that's open. Uh, was the, li the library burned, didn't it? I didn't it burned, but... Uh, 
We have been burned, but it, 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 this. Oh, yeah, the library burned, but later the damn city sank. Okay, uh. Not the time to Dude. be dancing, Warren. I think it was, was some kind of earthquake that shook the foundation and says Alexander was a harbor town. Yeah, the foundation just made it collapse into the bay. Okay. So it wasn't like a sinking island, just. Yeah. Just a disaster. There we go. And then from here. <laughs> to there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, from a fiery but, hell to a watery grave. But yeah, they are still... We are only a few years... Actually, a few de some decades ago... Discovered as a new... Old city in Turkey? Which was around before... Or ar uh, just before the ice, uh, ice melt in the Ice Age. Okay. If I remember right, so... We are discovering old and older civilizations. And that goes our frogman. And, yeah, different entrance to the main chamber. The execution chamber, as I'll call it for now. Okay. Uh, let's see, how long can we go with this? Not low enough to prevent shattered ankles. So, just turn. Fourth, back, and go. Okay. Uh, when did this one come out? Uh, 2005 or 7? Yep. Then I will say it has aged very well. They, they, I'm going they to do make that use noise my the age for the well. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, that uh, secret found noise. I am. I'm so going to make that my note, my phone's notification sound at some point or another. Yeah, it came out after Legend, which came out in 2003. Uh, I, no, then there was Anniversary, probably in 2005. So this one, probably 2007. All right, still aged well, I say. Yeah. Do it then again. Many games from that era have aged well. For it was just kind of around the area where we have started to do very good animation. Wink. Okay, it is a bit annoying that they hide a lot of these artifacts in just breakable stuff. What did we pick up? Okay, there was a health kit. But yeah, I would have preferred it if they had just hidden them around. But oh well, small gripes. Let's at least hope they didn't fuck with our boat on the way out. I also gotta wonder how Amanda managed to get new mercenaries after she lost all of uh, Rot uh, Rotland's <laughs> mercs. And again, they probably don't tell about previously uh, employed people. Uh, wait, what? Hmm? Uh, I didn't hear you. What did you say there? Yeah, I just gotta wonder how uh, Amanda managed to hire new mercs after she lost an entire band of, uh, uh, an entire company of worth of them previously. But uh, yeah, yeah, like Lazy Boy said, they she probably just gave them more money. Yeah, for she seemed to have a bond with Rotterdam. They were def there was definitely a lovers thing going on between those two. So yeah, Amanda has extra reason to hate Laura now. And she's probably not too happy about having uh, been spared either. Like uh, the type to I do not ever want to owe you anything. Wait. Does that mean she still have the damn thing? We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure that I think we saw it break, and this is completely the wrong way. 
Да? Yeah, I think this is the way. And not the Mandalorian way. Right. Oh, there we go. It's the crouch button to do the, the swan dive. Not yeah, shifts, which is for sprinting. This is from Glitchboy. She probably has the entity, yes. We never saw Laura take the amulet with her. Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that would have been a big <laughs> mistake on Laura's end. Then again, she's already taken quite a lot from Amanda, so maybe in a, poor dis <laughs> a moment of poor decision-making, she decided to let her keep that one. Even though, well, like I said, poor decision. I'm kind of glad that the sharks leave us alone. Now, they will come after us, but they're not as persistent as they are in Emperor's Tomb. Oh, thank goodness. They may stop swimming like a seal. Okay, back to home base. Yeah, this place is big. We now know what the smoke at the start was. Yeah, if they were smart, yeah, we're just stolen it. There's no way they couldn't have seen it. <laughs> Wait, what's... Okay. God of Thunder, okay. For some reason, I was not aware if she wants to crush into it. <laughs> like, I don't, uh, I don't think Laura is that suicidal. It's yeah, same. That's the hence why I got so confused. Okay. I'll take that. Whatever it is. Okay, R switch between weapons. What is this? Hmm? I've never seen this on the boat. They say access hatches, but they almost look like... Oh. Still taking oh. over... Oh! Natla Corp, I see. Yeah, wait, again? Yeah. Like, wait, did Rot Guy. Rotland work at Natla Corp? No, he, he probably bought her out. Or, well, can't really buy someone out who's dead. I mean, like, uh, if they, he, he was working there already, high position. He couldn't be promoted to take the spot. Yeah, I, I think they just bought it out. Uh, you think that's what happened when the person in charge of a company dies? Yeah, it depends on how instrumental they are to things. Plus it can just be a, a moment that people just decide to bail out. Uh, here, uh, uh, okay. Okay, so, uh, example. Let's say... Let's say the whoever owns uh, Twitter died. The top dog. Twitter gonna close down? No. The next in line, they will probably have to vote to see who will uh, take uh, the the, the quote unquote throne. True, but uh, I'm I'm pretty sure they would have been able to find out quite a lot of criminal activity on that liquor. So that also could have led to a bit of a buyout. Or a sellout. How do we get across? Possibly. I want you to go up, Lara, not over. Why is she not grabbing onto these? Yeah, uh, oh gosh. Th that 
As you realize, she must be very uncomfortable running on uh, that metal floor. Yeah, there's probably metal shavings all over the place here. More of a, uh, that that uh, metal floor gets warm. That's. Yeah, the Bye. grenades are a lot more useful now. Holy... Thank you. And the flips are back. Yeah, the flips are never gone with Lara Croft. Careful, we are not immortal and we're low on medical supplies. We can use the adrenaline mode to deal extra damage though. Basically just Doom Raider bullet time. Uh, okay, he was he was still twitching. Uh, let's see. Left twitch? Yeah, I don't think mercs are allowed to uh, stream. Uh, um, I think you've rammed his head into a crate. Behind you. I mean, I saw him uh, sneak up behind you. I uh, saw so him in the very split second. Okay, I was focused on the other guy. Is there... I like this kind of design where the rotor is integrated into the tail. And that's uh, 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 it and for the for the, the tail you know, to be more stable and more protected. Yep. Yeah, I kind of like this as well. So it looks like it helps, and not just a style. And one. Oh, we can target two guys at once, huh? Well, that should be possible. It's probably just not an, an easy thing to do. Yeah. Let's see. Any goodies in here? Oh. Wait. Is she always had kick? Yeah, we could kick in Legend as well. I don't think in Anniversary. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd have to get close for that. Yeah, but I don't remember her having really melee attacks. So, I, I cannot uh, welcome any sort of melee attacks for... Uh, do wait. Uh, does she have only with the pistol ammo? Yep, it's just the, uh, oh, right. the mountain eclipse. So, don't really know how to... Oh, okay. We can reload by just stopping it to... Yep. Laura. Can't stay away from explosions and fire today, huh? Looks like it. Okay, now the ship is sinking. Okay, uh, no medical supplies. Okay, there's a bolt. Yes, 
Kilimanjar offers little in the way of amusement. So I've grown fond of watching Amanda suffer the effects of sharing your interests. Jacqueline Latha, you just don't know when to die. A trait we have in common. It was you who told Amanda about Avalon. Our time is short, so choose your questions carefully. What do you know about my mother? The day is you and she found in Nepal. It's part of a travel network, so to speak. It took your mother to Avalon. My father thought Avalon was below, but that's Niflheim. What's the Norse connection? Ah, Richard found the wrong Norse underworld. Your mother didn't go to Niflheim. She went to Helheim. Where is it? I will tell you where it is, one day. But when that day comes, you need Thor's hammer to get inside. Perhaps you'll have better luck finding it than your father did. What do you mean? Your answer is on the west coast of Thailand. Send it to Parallel. Yep, the bitch ain't dead. Okay, I'm surprised. Yeah, we kind of dunked her into lava. Twice, I think. And then collapsed the rocks on top of her. That's locked. But now just let up. Oh. Probably better to follow the exit signs, huh? Yeah. Is really having a bad day with fire today. Ow, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we are literally a scratch away from death. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. I did not know that. We regenerate a little bit of health. Nice. I always like that feature in games, since there are many games where that passive re regeneration is so needed. Yep. This thing is going down quick. We're already nose diving into the water. How many systems did you that damn thing blow up? I'm guessing the entire fuel line system. This is a pretty bad design if one spark and take that out. Okay. There we go. We'll deal with Valve, but we'll hopefully not have to deal with Steam. Oh, so come on. Run on this game on Steam. <laughs> but like you expected any better from me? And yeah, this thing is going down quicker than the fucking Titanic. Yeah. Wait, one of those is open. Uh. Okay, it was bo poorly animated. Think she wouldn't just fish it up? <laughs> Let's see. Coastal uh Thailand. According to Natla, Avalon and the Norse underworld of Helheim are one and the same. Entry is not possible without Mjolnir, the Warhammer of the Norse god of thunder, Thor. Is that uh, what my father was searching for in Thailand? And oh, oh, okay, we can actually check. Uh, if we can actually pick a you know, costume this time. Let's go for long pants and oh, hello. Uh, let's go with SMGs. It's been a bit since Lover has used those. Here I spoke about a possible Korean or Thailand dish, Mego Squid, and where are we going? Thailand. 
<laughs> was that an accidental yeah. foreshadowing? <laughs> None of the ruins are visible from down here. And if Father did explore this site, I see no sign of it yet. I still don't see how Thailand is connected to Viking. Or ruins under the meta hell. Even Avalon for that matter. Helheim is it. Various myths use different names, but they all apply to the same remnants of the ancient world. One of those remnants is still alive. I would hate to be Amanda if Natla ever gets free. <sighs> I would hate to be any of us. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I know what's going on. It has a bit of a Conan feel. Like Conan is in uh, have a different ages, like some of them takes before before Atlantis sank, when the world was very different. Yeah. So I think if we have a, a but most we consider myths today are more very diluted uh, facts of what was once was. Yep, we're dealing with an ancient civilization, so ancient it is myth to the civilizations that are myth to us. Yeah. And Conan did something similar, like uh, like Scandinavia area before the sea between Finland and Sweden came. Entire region there was uh, the Norsheim in that world, and one side was the Aesir, and other side was the Vanir. These are god tribes in our mythology, but in Conan, way way back before uh, basically prehistory. At least confirmed history during Conan. Those were actually real people, real places. And one of the rulers is named Odin. Uh, up, no. So, I think it's, this is what they, they're doing similar here, though a bit yep. more advanced. Yep, agents to ancients. Yeah. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Fucking spiders. Indeed, uh, indeed, uh, it is English, but that's why I said around that time. For a oh bloody heck. Conan was after Atlantis sank. Who. Kroll was before it sank? I. Bloody, I, I know more about Conan and than the, his son and his predecessor. That way. And though Conan World is was more less super advanced and more like they went through several times uh, Stone Age to priest to, yeah, from Stone Age to medieval several times. Here I think it's more like a very advanced civilization collapsed and became a myth. Yep. And most of uh, uh, we will have fragments of what became a mythology. Oh, Mediterranean Sea was... yeah. Fun fact, people theorize that Mediterranean could become a, sea, a desert once again. Yep. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's some Kit Kats running around. It's actually been a while since I've had a Kit Kat. Same. And Wait. yeah, we can actually wall jump now. Hold on. Yep. Oh, right. You, you... Now I get a joke. You, you spell cat with K-A-T. Yep. You don't know how a Swede spell cat? Same. K-A-T-T. One more T. There we That's go. the difference. This ain't cat. Yeah. Like any good sequel, the traversal has been upgraded. So, yeah, now we can also very. jump off walls to get up places. <clears throat> yeah, it's very impressive, I say. And bloody the ruins look damn well made. Yep. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure those are actually photos, just flattened into a texture on, <laughs> with the leaves there on the pillar. I don't mind that, as long as it's done well. Yeah. 
it's not intrusive or anything. But uh, yeah, besides Angel of Darkness, I'm pretty sure you, everyone or most people would agree that there are no bad uh, Tomb Raider games. Maybe lesser, but never bad, except for Angel of Darkness, yeah, which that's well, right. was really flawed and screwed up in its development, I think. Yeah, so much that I barely hear people talk about to begin with. I keep forgetting uh, that uh, that one. Huh? Glacier Boy, ruins <laughs> look damn well made is such an oxymoron. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's, it's, also, it's true. I meant from a game developer perspective. How so? I, I, I actually be surprised if someone just go out in real life and try to make a ruin. So that actually would not be a ruin technique, it would be a replica of a ruin. Go. Nope, oh, there's an artifact there. Can we make that? I'm not sure I want to risk it. Okay. What about a biscuit? <laughs> I feel like that, that may here. become a, a, soon one of our inside jokes. Okay, that's our health kits for it. Oh, oh. That, that isn't. They have varying <coughs> models for the health kits per area. That was basically a bowl of <laughs> berries. Also, hello. Yep. Ow. Oh. Thai Tigers. tigers. Uh Yeah, some beefy fur balls to deal with, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, bloody yeah, yeah. If I remember, it, tigers... Tigers may be actually stronger than lions. A good chance they are. Uh, with lions, it is mostly the females that do most of the hunting. Like, not all, I believe. But... Yeah. Uh, uh, with the uh, tigers, yeah, both of them uh, will be going at it. Yeah, like, I mean, they can but hunt, that... which they themselves have to, if they don't have a pride. Yeah. But they mostly build to fight each other. A bit ironic. A tiger without pride isn't too proud to uh, hunt alone. <laughs> But, that, but then there's other rule that tigers get bigger and more muscular and they're even heavier due to it. Yeah. Okay, we've hit our time mark, but let's keep going until there's a checkpoint. Uh, showing off, Lara. <laughs> uh, don't you have a save? Uh, oop, drink. Let's see, I don't know if it will put us back exactly. No, not... Hmm. Okay, but it was... It was behaving... It seems to be completely random when it doesn't and doesn't work. Oh, it's it's been auto-saving as well. That's good. Uh, game. There we go. Okay, not allowed to overwrite auto-saves. Okay, the so there is a functional autosave feature, always nice. Uh, let's just see until we hit a checkpoint, hopefully, and then we'll call it off. That sounds like a checkpoint. <laughs> As can you so receive. Uh, let's check load for confirmation. Game okay, Yeah, uh, I feel like you're going to have to invest... Uh, Ronnie Hilly, I have to investigate this problem. Okay, there they are. Okay, we should be able to continue from here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I 
do not get why it is refusing to work properly. It... You can... Something is drawing it over that way. Maybe if I just... No. Is, is it, uh, there. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in a game before. Like, maybe you've seen that with a faulty controller? Something that like that happened, but... Like here? But it, uh, it should it, not happen? Yeah, it's like Joy-Con drift, but somehow only the in-game mouse. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that's what confuses me. Okay, oop. That's not supposed to be over there. Uh, yeah, before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. And there's quite a lot of people online, it seems. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> so, let's change the screen share to Twitch. Triple check that the place is muted, which it is. And let's uh, see. Hmm? Bloody hey, there's a lot of people watching uh, Tomb Raider, it seems. Uh... Tomb Raider 2, 58 people. And just because it yeah. shows up on the front page, and there's Tomb Raider 3 as well with 37. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, hmm. th that's why I said uh, like, it feels like uh, she's becoming popular again. Yeah, it could also be because we are streaming the games themselves that we are getting uh, yeah, advertised ah. it as well. Okay, th okay <laughs> that makes sense. Anyways, then let's have a look. Uh, we have Touch Katie Tail, who is streaming Wild Frost. Let's mm. see. Jikri's been Shh. waiting months for this game. Can't say I know of it. They're under pre-stream still. Okay. Then what we have I heard of it or not? Hmm. Then we have Frayne with Total Warhammer 3. Looks like they're playing... Okay, they're playing Dwarves. I thought for a moment the they were playing Dwarves. Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> and then we have Sour Rollers with Pogo stock. Rage with your friends. Okay. <laughs> not... That's an instant don't raid. Uh, uh, yeah, they 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 can <laughs> they can rage alone. Next up we have Kiri Natsuyoko with Monster Hunter Freedom. I can't say I've heard of Okay, it's an older game from the looks of it. I, re oh. I recognize that. It's an older one. Yes, no Nurgle playthrough yeah, this time, Glacier Boy. You'll have to annoy Drakir into streaming to get that. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, next up, we have Ruffy Raccoon with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The Lazy General is streaming Elite Dangerous. Okay, been a good while since I played that. Uh, not. It was fun while I played, but if you, I'm not really the, good at the type to set up my own goals. <laughs> So that tends to, well, not last too long. Uh, next up, we have Alex Jordan VO, who is streaming also Total Warhammer 3. And it seems to be also the Davis R, the Chaos Dwarves. I think they got to the early access betas. Could be. Uh, next, we have Puffle Cakey with Sunhaven. Let's see. I. Hmm. I don't really. I can't guess what this is from the look of it. Uh, let's see. Nothing about what sort of genre it is. Okay. Looks RPG, but what kind of RPG? I don't know. Yeah, we're just seeing ta chatter. Uh, Kani with Noita again. They're having fun with that. And yeah, that's about the range of the uh, people we uh, typically rate then. Let's see. I'm guessing you want to raid either Frayne or Alex Jordan. Frayne, Alex. <laughs> okay, let's go raid Frayne then. Okay, just copy over their name. Head to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Glacier Boy, and uh, da, 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 little crazy back. yes, yeah, just thank you as well, and uh, yeah, as always, thank you as always, uh, Drake here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, <laughs> and yeah, uh, like me no evening stream. <laughs> Uh, likely no evening stream today due to, well, 
dinner on Wednesdays typically being late due to the swimming stuff. Same with ass on Friday. So, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We can maybe do a double then, but again, I don't want to overdo it with streams each day or so. So maybe, yeah, like, or maybe we'll just take a rest and do just the evening. Yeah, for I'm okay with doubles in tomorrow, but since you swim on Friday as well, makes me feel like uh, where fri Wednesday and Fridays are likely, at least in the future, good rest days. Yeah. <laughs> You're showing the care into a swimming pool. <laughs> I'm not yeah, with, with one, one massive case. tube around him, so it's more tube than lizard. I can swim. <laughs> I hope. Okay. I, I don't remember many reptilian species that actually swim. There's a for oh, some all, lizards. All all lizards can not instinctively swim. Okay. Um, the ones with webbing between their toes would be better at it, but yeah. We'll yeah. see what tomorrow brings. Maybe a double, maybe nothing on Friday then. We'll just see. We still have to go watch Coco and catch up on Clone Wars. So, yeah. Yeah, that too. <laughs> okay. That's for now then. Let's start up that raid. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Thanks for joining. And watch out for ancient monsters. <laughs> like ancient See dragons. See ya.